What happens if we're not up here actively managing the forest is we have another year like we had in 2020 where over 4 million acres burned. And to me, the amount of pollutants that are released into the atmosphere, we just can't have that. We have so many people in the Central Valley that struggle from uh, issues like asthma. And so the, the harm that's caused from these fires really is immeasurable. I had put out in January a proposal for the legislature to invest a record amount in our home hardening, uh, our forest health as well as fuel break and vegetation management efforts, a billion dollars. To the legislature's credit and to the leadership of the California legislature, uh, they wanted to move forward uh, more aggressively and draw down $536 million to get moving now, to get that ball rolling and to start those efforts with the urgency this moment requires. The Creek Fire is one of California's worst fires ever. It is a fire that happened in the beetle kill epidemic area from about five and six years ago. So massive amounts of fuels, massive amounts of thermal energy released when those fuels were burned and really extreme fire behavior activities. Absolutely beyond belief in some cases. When it comes to our forests, I do believe that there's a great opportunity for the local, state, and federal government all to be working together. And I'm one who believes that really when you take a look at a lot of environmental laws that are out there that have been difficult for the U.S. Forest Service in years past to do prescribed burning, we need to kind of sweep that away. What I want to say about this particular area is it is an area of collaboration that is exactly what we want to, to uh, mirror across the state. So this particular area, Shaver Lake, Fresno County, is a key cornerstone to our strategy to meet the Wildfire and Forest Resilience Action Plan and the efforts going forward to manage California's forests in a healthy manner. And it was just announced that uh, the West Coast of the United States, 77% of the West Coast of the United States is in a mega drought, experiencing extreme drought conditions. So this is no longer about California, just Oregon, Washington, Nevada, but now New Mexico, Colorado. You saw some historic numbers in terms of acres burned and wildfires. And so we have a collaborative with the Western states governors and the Biden administration. And we have language that they've worked on in the stimulus bills that is very advantageous to our state's efforts and the flexibility as well as the funding that's come in that we'll be able to draw down, not only as it relates to the stimulus, but also in their budget that's forthcoming that will have specific targeted investments for these efforts.